What's going on YouTube, Geosna right here. So in today's video I have some bad news for those of you who were intending to downgrade on iOS 16, especially on the newer devices like the iPhone 12, 13, 10s, 10s Max, 11 and stuff like that. The state of downgrading is pretty bad starting with iOS 16. We're gonna get into that in a couple of seconds. This video is brought to you by Tenorshare for you key which allows you to easily reset a forgotten passcode if your device is disabled and stuff like that. If your device looks like this, then you can easily fix it by going here to unlock iOS screen, connect your device, press start, press next and download the proper firmware, then press start to remove. And then your device will start reinstalling iOS. Make sure you have a proper backup for your data first because everything else will be deleted too. And a few minutes later you get this, screen lock removed successfully and that's about it. That's how you reset a forgotten passcode from your device. You can check the program out in the link below, it's available for both Windows and Mac OS and a free trial is available. So a couple of hours ago here on Reddit Jailbreak this discussion was posted. The unfortunate state of iOS downgrading and to understand where this is coming from Cryptic, one of the developers of Future Restore who has been keeping Future Restore working along with other developers for the past couple of months now, has posted this. A pretty long wall of text explaining what is currently going on. Well, you can start reading everything in here if you want to, but to make things short, in iOS 16, Apple introduced a new component that is almost always incompatible with the older versions, breaking downgrades for everybody. So starting on iOS 16, you can no longer reliably downgrade a modern device like A12 and newer devices, iPhone XS, XS Max, XR, 11, 12, stuff like that. These can no longer be downgraded reliably, even if you have saved SHSH blobs because of this compatibility issue with this brand new firmware. Now the whole explanation is in here, you can definitely read it, I'm gonna link it down below. But as you probably know, if you ever follow the Future Restore tutorial, like I have one here on my website, you probably know that we used to set something called a nonce generator in the memory using a nonce setter before we would able to use those blobs. That was basically how we used to do this kind of downgrades and you still had to use the SEP and baseband from the latest versions. You had to make sure that the SEP and baseband are still compatible with the version you try to downgrade. Well, all in all, it wasn't exactly very hard. There are charts available with what is available and what is not. And even though it was a little bit harder on the A12 devices, nothing was completely impossible. If you had the right combination of firmware and SEP and baseband and of course saved blobs, and if there was a nonce generator available for you, you would be able to downgrade. Well, unfortunately, starting with iOS 16.0, Apple introduced a brand new component to the firmware. It's basically a virtual co -process processor called Cryptex 1 and that is causing issues because that component is almost never compatible for downgrades with older versions. It may work from iOS 16.3 to 16.3.1 and stuff like that but not with older versions and that. This will essentially block downgrades pretty much for all A12 plus devices. So unless we're able to find a way to persist non-seeds across multiple reboots, we will not be able to do downgrades with Future Restore and stuff like that anymore. It's not a problem with Future Restore alone. Any other program created for that purpose would fail because of that. So this started with iOS 16.0. It's unfortunate but unless something changes, unless we find a way to persist those known seeds, we will not be able to use Future Restore for A12 plus devices in the future, especially starting with iOS 16. iOS 15 and stuff like that are not affected. A11 and older devices might be able to do this because of the checkmate exploit, we might be able to figure out ways. However, for the A12 plus devices, downgrades are essentially dead at this moment on iOS 16, at least until we can figure that out and it doesn't look good. This doesn't affect delay OTA for the moment, but the downgrades with saved blobs in Future Restore, that's basically game over for the moment on newer devices. So yeah, that's basically it, pretty bad news, thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, until the next time, peace out.